Hello again from the National Weather Service office in Riverton, Wyoming. Here is your weekend weather outlook or briefing. Before we go into the forecast, take a look at recent precipitation, snowpack, then and now, then being April 7th, 2013. Uh, not a whole lot of snow. In fact, no snow really across the lower elevations on April 7th. And then with the last two storm systems, what a change in the image to the right. Look at all the blues here indicating uh, snow on the ground, especially across the lower elevations of the central and east. So although this snow will melt pretty quickly with one or two warm days, some good moisture is now in the ground that we didn't have back in the early or first week of April. So some very, very impressive snowfall totals from this last storm across Wyoming. How is that going to impact the U.S. Drought Monitor? Well, if we get another storm or two, these areas in orange and red to your right will begin to shrink. But please keep in mind, we're still in a severe to extreme drought as of April 16th. That's when this map is valid uh, across central and eastern Wyoming. But there has been some relief. That's good news. Okay, on to this weekend. It will be unsettled. Here's your Saturday and Sunday afternoon precipitation pattern. We're going to go into a westerly or zonal type flow Saturday and Sunday across Wyoming. This means more precipitation over and west of the Continental Divide, especially on Sunday. It'll uh, pick up actually early on Saturday, but it will be spotty for Saturday, especially anywhere east of the divide. And then on Sunday, some more concentrated snow, especially in the higher elevations of the west and the north. Again, some good moisture will be coming in off the Pacific uh, to give uh, or to put down some additional snowfall. But again, it's mostly going to be confined over and west of the divide. A little better example here. This is the forecast for Saturday. The arrow points to the air, uh, blue area of far west and northwest Wyoming. That's where the snow is expected to fall according to our models. The areas in green, by the way, are uh, indicating where the rain will fall. It will be actually liquid, and that's across the lower elevations of Montana. And again, spotty into Wyoming, although we're going to be focusing on more snow across the far west. It will be breezy in this pattern with west to northwest winds across the state Saturday into Sunday. And again, that snow will be piling up in the high country. So unsettled into Sunday, here's your Sunday midday weather pattern. Again, windy. This is an upper level weather chart here showing the arrow showing the flow of the air from pretty much west to east, bringing the winds and moisture that will lift up over the mountains. So snow and rain across far northern Wyoming on sun by Sunday afternoon, as well as the western mountains as mentioned a little bit earlier. Then as we get into Monday, this is the midday weather pattern Monday. It will be colder after highs in the 40s and 50s over the weekend. Highs on Monday behind a cold front should only be in the 30s, even across the eastern uh, part, central and eastern part of the state or east of the Continental Divide. This system does not look as strong as the past two systems. You'll see the area of low pressure here up along the U.S. Canadian border with colder air spilling in behind it. And again, areas of snow look like t uh, to be developing sometime during the day on Monday. We'll keep a close eye on it. Just know it's going to get colder again uh, Monday into early Tuesday. How about beyond early next week? Here's a look ahead, the last week of April, April temperature and precipitation outlook. We show you this pretty much every week. Areas in red and orange here on the left side indicate above normal temperatures. On your right map, the areas in uh, brown pretty much indicate where below normal, temp uh, below normal precipitation will occur in this 8 to 14 day extended period. And looks like the west is going to be warmer than average with below normal precipitation and yes it nudges into Wyoming so it looks like uh, you know all that, that much needed moisture we had uh, will not uh, stick around too long into late April but we'll keep an eye on that just want to mention very quickly upcoming National Weather Service spotter training classes given by the National Weather Service meteorologist here at the Riverton office two more Spotter Talks coming up in late April the 23rd in Powell and April 30th at Casper. Hope you can make it. And once again, thank you for listening. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you next week.